We have a new Blizzard Lalo player on the channel. This is Herrera. He plays for SG Tristellar, a pretty OP uh, team coming out of Japan. And let's see how he goes today. He's got two accounts above 6,000 trophies. I've been kind of following his season on Twitter, um, seeing him post his daily uh, attack totals. And I've been seriously impressed. And uh, I had to ask. And thankfully, he said yes. Let's see what sort of day he can have today. Now, did, we kind of missed that at the start, unfortunately. He starts his attack super fast. But you see that? There's a bomb tower here. But he took down the bomb tower with some balloons at the start. We got quite, we used quite a few balloons there. But worth it. Because landing on a bomb tower, generally the safest spot to land. Because no defender expects you to land there. Now, unfortunately, we did not get the CC pull. Which is uh, kind of critical. Kind of critical. So this Sui could get a, a little bit scuffed here. I like that wall break a lot, actually. Yes, it means he can't reach these core sweepers, right? But, like, the core single's not going to be as bad. It's much better to Sui around. And if you want the core, as you can tell here, use your Royal Champion for that. Looks like King wants to beat on the wall anyway. So apparently we will get that wall break, even though he could literally walk, like, two tiles. Singles on the RC. I assume he invises or freezes. Perfect invis. He doesn't invis the scatter that he's king's targeting, but he is able to invis the RC. RC ability gets two sweepers. Can't really complain about that. And uh, because of that, we're able to Lalo from the top. Early warden ability. Nicely done. He needs these loons to continue spreading. Oh, we missed the first archer tower. Hopefully the loons kind of backtrack. Great freeze on that enemy queen because she is still alive. Here comes in the headhunters. They must have taken forever to kill that king. But they get the king, the queen down as well. And this looks great. That hound, because he wardened the lava hound, is it's lived for so long. And this scatter hasn't been on balloons. It's been on the lava hound. If it targeted the balloons, this might have gotten close. But because of that, we're going to walk away with 40 cups. And really nice start on this account here. So like I said, got two accounts in the 6,000 trophy range. Seriously impressive stuff. That's no mean feat for a fair play player. And uh, yeah, plenty of cleanup. Nice start for him. And uh, let's hope we can get more of these 40 cup attacks today because we all know Blizzard Lalo so good to watch when a player is at their best. Haroya live once again. Running into... What, you, what I've always described as the most common diamond base in Legends League, but I can't do that anymore. Not many people run it in high Legends because for the obvious reason of this base is burnt to a crisp. And he's doing the, uh, he's doing this blizzard. Interesting. Doesn't even bother freezing the sweeper. In Fair enough. This isn't the blizzard I do, but it is the one lots do. If there's a giant bomb there... There's a giant bomb above these super wizards. This could get interesting. Now, obviously, they can take a... a oh, no, they couldn't. <gasps> and that's why it's always worth investing in the freeze. Particularly when you're bringing the stars, like, um... The stars army composition. Always in... You've got four freezes. May as well use one to get the blimp. Because if he gets this blimp an extra tile and it lands right here... Then you activate the giant bomb early and your super wizards are safe. But unfortunately, unfortunately for him there, it doesn't quite work out. And now our queen has to one-on-one -on -one the royal champion and she loses a lot of health too. Now this is recoverable. The real problem is, though is we didn't pull the CC. I would have expected him to blizz the right side here because obviously that's the shorter side. This is by no means over though. This is by no means over. Absolutely recoverable. It's just going to take a mighty Lalo. Thankfully, look at these sweepers. Facing away from the town hall. We freeze the town hall. We don't get an air bow. RC down the bottom. She's doing great work. Look at her go. Unfortunately, that king's going to absolutely destroy her. Loons come back to the town hall. The queen's still up. Somehow. Holy, that town hall. How long did that town hall take to go down? What? Chat, chat, he had so many balloons there. I have no idea how that town hall took so long to go down. 
Somehow our queen's still up, but she finally goes down. And the most common base gets a defense. I can't believe this. That was just unlucky. That, like, if this blizzard gets an extra tile, this base is clapped. Three loons on 10 but he had a few originally as well. Oof. Unlucky there for Heroya. Definitely a, not a bad attack. Wasn't like a bad attack, just a few things felt slightly... A few things fell slightly short. And uh, just going to be waiting for the minion and archer to come around. But yeah, to all those like wondering how to hit this base, uh, there are multiple ways you can hit it. I prefer the Town Hall Blizz generally. But if you are going to hit it like Stars hits it, where he blizzards, you need to like land it right here. Don't land it here, because then if there's a giant bomb here, you don't pull it. You need to get it as deep as possible. So if there's, there's always a sweeper right here, freeze it. Absolutely worth it. Um, and generally... If the CC's to the right-hand side here, it means it's slightly easier to pull from here. Blizz that side as well. But, I mean, really wasn't that bad attack for Heroya. Just a few things went against him. Heroya, live again here. It's Klaus. The man. The myth. The legend. If you haven't watched, I know, um, I know, uh, that's quite a common catchphrase, but if... If you haven't watched the, um, oh, what's the video? It's the penalty kickoff. What's his name? Scott Sterling penalty kickoff. One of the best YouTube videos ever. Anyways, really nice blizzard from Horea here. Notice how he sent it over the left side of the, uh, of the air, of the air defense into this compartment. This is way less likely to be baited on that angle. And I mean, look at this value. That is great value. Okay, queen down the bottom. Now comes the fun part. What can he get with this suey? If this was me, by the way, obviously it's not me. This is me. I'm running a ground warden here. I'd love to sit, hear your opinion, chat. But, like, look at it. You could lalu this side of the base without... You don't need the warden ability for that. But you definitely want to get as much of this town or compartment down as possible. Oh, he did it. There's no way. See, listening to stream, I don't see many other people do ground warden kill squads. I see people do warden blizzards, but I don't see many people do ground warden kill squads with Blizzard Lalo. I love it. I love it. I'm all in. We need this cannon down. And then we can probably wall break. Yeah. Okay. Heroes, all clump. Stop splitting! Oh, this is so bad. The heroes are literally going left, right, and center. He did not get the king ability, which is the most important ability inside that warden tome. But. He has gotten the value necessary. Look at these headhunters. They're on the town hall helping out as well. We haven't used the RC or the queen ability. RC ability goes off there. The ice golems only just died. The queen's going to die inside the town hall poison. Here comes the Lalo. Oh, we didn't get that scatter down. But it should still be enough. Oh, that's a bad Tesla farm for us. It should still be enough. Oh, the warden was going to help out with the balloons. Hopefully there's not too many red bombs. This is going to be so close. Chad, I don't know if he's got it. I don't think the loons get through, but there's so many pups. Oh, sneaky up throwing and pulling all the skellies. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. That storage is a huge issue. Don't you dare, 99. Come on, take down Klaus. 10 seconds. Time is as much an issue as anything. 6, 5... I think he gets it. The wizard comes in absolutely clutch with all its damage. Gets the minions to tank for it. And Heroya gets 40 cups that, in my opinion, he definitely deserved. Heroya, live once more. Coming in on Lalo23. This is Yo-Yo, the man, the god himself, honestly, of pushing. One of the very best pushes we've ever had in the game. And uh, we actually saw Kazuma hit... Uh, Lalo 23 yesterday was running this exact base and not even Kazuma could get the triple Let's see if Heroya can fare better 
Unfortunately, the blizzard, whilst it pulls the C- Ah! The blizzard pulled the CC, but we didn't kill the headhunters. It's, it's fine now. Just one mortar on the queen. That is easy enough to deal with. I actually haven't blizzlala this base before, but it actually looks really nice. It looks re Obviously, you know, bases aren't defending blizzlala primarily. There's a bunch of other armies that are used more in High Legends. That be super drags and queen charge attacks. But look at this. This is just a nice natural... I'm so invested. Let's go. Ground Warden. Teaser base. Always a good idea. Look at this value. Wait, that's a Warden. That's a, that's a Hound. Is that a deliberate Lava Hound? Is that actually a deliberate Lava Hound? I swear if that's deliberate, that's potentially the coolest thing ever. Because look, it's tanking for the Lalo better than it would have been without. We're just going to keep freezing this multi and uh, the eagle. Because that's the only real threat for the Lolo. Because the king's just taking out the entire core of the base. The RC's taking out the other scatter. We've still got our entire hero kill squad up. This is so clapped. <laughs> this is so clapped. Oh my word. Heroia. Styling on Yo-Yo himself. And the Lolo might have died out. But there's no doubt in my mind this is just crushed. That was so cool. He's he's done the ground warden on Klaus. He's done the ground warden on Yo-Yo. Who's next in his path? Who will he take down next? Who who can who knows? Maybe we got stars next. Synthe, who knows? But I'd love to see it because uh, he's reeling in all the big fish today and taking them down with style. Absolute GGs there to Haroya. Haroya. Live again here. Nice blizzard. Yeah, no, that's pretty nice blizzard valley. Doesn't get the CC pull though. That's critical. Can he sui the core of this base with that CC not being pulled? He's done this on a few of his hits today where he doesn't pull the uh, CC with his blizzard, but it doesn't seem to stop him a lot. It doesn't seem to stop him a lot. So let's see if he can still get this one done. Nice wall break. Baby drag on the top side. And he's going to try and get rid of this core multi, you would have to think. But he needs this ground bow down to get this second layer wall break that uh, you know he wants. This king could very well walk. This CC pool is actually going to save the king. Weirdly enough. That king would have walked if it weren't for the CC. Funny how things have a way of working out. Good poison. The defensive RC actually steps on that poison. Whoa, our RC's gone off the grid. She's pulled very far left, but that's fine. Get the sweeper. Oh, she damages the eagle as well. King. Oh, rip. <laughs> he just got destroyed by the eagle and the queen simultaneously. We don't get a Lava Hound in the Warden ability, and you can see why. Because the two Lava Hounds went to the far right-hand side. But they're coming back. Look at them running across the middle of the base. They're both going to die super quickly. Oh, the Lalo's just completely missed the eagle. We're going to have to uh, retreat. Time's going to be an issue always. Because look at it. Those Expos and the Queen are taking out a... Eagle! You didn't have to violate us like that. But yeah, time's an issue. Because we've lost a lot of our pups. But it's definitely tripled. It's definitely tripled. It's just whether the clock allows it to be 40 cups. Ooh, keeping that balloon alive is kind of key. Queen's beating a bad wall, though. This sneaky gob. Oh, no! This sneaky gob. If it ran around the base, I was very confident we were going to get it. It has to now, as soon as this queen gets uh, through this. I think we get it. Sneaky gob, do your thing. Bam. Bam. Bam, look at it taking chunks out of its favorite thing. Six. Yep, we got it. Nice. Heroia gets 40 cups. Not with the most brilliant Lalo ever, but a really nice Sui. Heroia live again here. Coming up against this base. 
Now, we did just see him fail on this base on his other account. So let's see how he can go on this one. Obviously a very common and very toxic box space. Good invis. Uh, maybe not. Oh, uh, this queen. Oh, just in time. It looked like she'd get invis and then the super whiz wouldn't get her. Super whiz, get the multi. Rip. Oh, I thought that was a swag haste. He actually wants that multi down quite badly. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's happening. Interesting, the uh, the loons go pull their headhunters in the CC, so there will be a hound left, most likely, and three gobs. But much easier to deal with that without the headhunters there as well, splitting them apart. No complaints here. So doing this star style Sui. RC on the top side. I don't think he's done it on this account before. He's done it plenty on the other account, being quite successful with it. And let's see if he can get it, uh, let's see if he can get it done here. Look at this hound. Oh, it's just perfectly lined up. Is there <laughs> there's no way there's not a single red bomb there. Minions target the town hall, which is kind of perfect. And we use a freeze there as well. This is the problem though, it can get really ugly around the town hall. Loons haste off the town hall. RC's in the core of the base. Normally you try and uh, warden the RC with the Lalo, but the RC has gone rogue. Scatter tanked by the air defense. This is why you try and not put scatters in range of air defenses, because it's just so nice for Lalo, and we should get this now. We still have this queen ability, which will be used to completely take out the king. And the loons just gonna slowly overwhelm the base. Our warden has died, but that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because the heroes, the other heroes did so much work here. Hopefully we've got enough time. 24 seconds on the clock. That should be plenty. Especially when the RC lives. She's so good at cleanup. Uh, much better than uh, these slow balloons are. Plenty of time left in the end. And Heroia gets another 40 cups. Heroia's final attack of the day. Let's see if he can finish with another triple. So, a triple here gets him to 290. He has had six triples. It's just unfortunate. The two fails were slightly low percent. Um, but that's Legends League for you. Coming up against Yash and Thor. Chat, were you guys talking about this earlier? Saying this account has like 14 defensive wins or something? Oh, look at this. Hasted Balloons. He's trying to take out the Bomb Tower. Or just put enough damage onto it that the Blimp Drop damage takes it out. I really like that. Fourteen defensive wins, really? Yikes! I wish I had a base that could hold for. Like, look at this base. I wish I had a base that could hold like this that could hold fourteen zero stars. Well, I don't think he's gonna get a fifteenth here on the basis that we've already secured the first star. But let's see if Heroia can add another two stars in this attack. Now the Blizzard got nice value. Don't get me wrong, but. We're dealing with the Sui on the fly. We're dealing with the CC on the fly again. Queen's gonna go in. Man, this is gonna leave a funky little Lalo path. Laloing through the eagle. The eagle completely whiffs as per usual. What I mean by whiffs as in it misses. I know I realize recently some people don't know what I mean when I say whiff, so. Oh Warden! Stop throwing! Oh my lord! That's the only downside of trying to cut off your heroes with the Lalo. Some of the time the Warden will just get attracted to the Lalo, uh, to the heroes, and he won't come back. And we just lost so many balloons. I mean, we still have two invis and a bunch of heroes. 
including their abilities. I hope he's looking at his queen. He is. Problem with that invis, though, when they go around the corner, is that the queen's still going to need another invis. It's not going to quite go. All because of that warden. Rest in peace. Nice try there from Haroya. It's just unfortunate. Look at how much time he's got left. He definitely started his Lalo a little bit early, but even then, Warden absolutely betrayed him, but still gets 279 today. Not a horrible outcome, and hopefully he can keep pushing right up the leaderboards. But that's it from us today. If you want to watch more Blizz Lalo, go below me, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the content. Maybe I'll see you soon.